This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. It's great. It's like big fish in a small pond. You know, I'm a tattoo lady. It's like amazing. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger, and we are here in Barrie at Rock City Tattoo, where Lila Reese has been leaving her mark on people for the past five and a half years. And check out this space. It's not your average tattoo shop, shall we say. So a lot of people will come in here and they don't even know what to think. People think I live here. They ask me, they say, is this your apartment? <laughs> oh. Lydia, oh Lydia, say, have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattooed lady. So I treat my clients like they're my friends, really. It's just me and the client, and that's it. We started this a while ago. So today we're just going to do some background, and I'm going to darken up that chickadee. I really liked the experience that Lila gives with me. I mean, we laugh and just joke the whole time, and she's making We had feel. to stop tattooing her one time because we were laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, you're moving too much. <laughs> I went to high school for one year. I've been working since I was like 13. You know, I really had a very deep respect for the tattooers that had worked on me over the years. I did like a very traditional old school apprenticeship. Started tattooing grapefruits, but I was like, <laughs> like I didn't want to put the needle in the skin. Well, I got my license in 2005. I opened the shop on a whim and I just followed my gut and I am so glad I did. I've never lived in a more tattooed community than Barry. That's why I call it Rock City Tattoo, is a play on, you know, Barry. I think what makes this studio different from any other in the state that I've been to is that I'm the only female owned and operated solely. It's just myself, there's no employees here. I think in the beginning it was harder for me to be taken seriously, and I had been told things like, girls can't tattoo skulls, which is something I love to do and paint. I don't tattoo genitals or anything weird. And that is part of being a female tattooer. If they want their genitals done, they want a girl to do it. Lucky me! How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was, I was 13. <laughs> For me, they're more like a diary. I remember where I was when I got it, what was going on in my life. Really, I'm just a collector. So I got butterfly on my back. And it hurt, and I swore after that. Man, I'm never gonna get a tattoo again. And now look at me. <laughs> this part is actually a piece of cake. It feels like a cat scratch. When you're done, you feel great. You feel like you can do anything, and you have a natural high. My mom had a tattoo from the 70s, which was like a big deal. Back then, you know, when you're heavily tattooed, it's a little bit more of a lifestyle and a commitment because it wasn't so mainstream and you got kind of looked at like you were a biker or a outlaw. You would go to a shop and it was just a tough biker guy doing the tattoo, sit down, shut up, you know, this is what you're gonna get. And times are changing, you know, you have to be more friendly and welcoming. You know, I tattoo people's grandmothers. I tattoo a Catholic school principal, stay-at-home wives, SVU detective, 72-year-old man who wants his first tattoo. The Eat More Kale guy got tattooed here. It was yeah. my idea. I said, Bo, I was like, why don't you get a tattoo This is Eat More Kale because of the whole controversy with the Chick-fil-A and who owns that. I said, well, if it's on your body, you own that. But now there's also fine artists who are bringing a whole new level to the craft of tattooing. Any major life event, people will memorialize it with a tattoo. And that's your grandma? Yep, and that's my grandmother. That's when she passed. I've got a pretty good piece on my lower back. It's lyrics to her favorite song. And I want people to see that I love my grandmother very much. And I used to always say I would never get a mom tattoo. But as soon as she passed away, I was like, I got to go get my mom tattoo. This is so morbid sounding, but anytime there's a a car accident or a death or something like that, especially if it's in central Vermont, I'm like, I'm gonna be doing a tattoo. It's a special thing you get to do for someone. You get to know people and they tell you everything. And they don't just tell you, you know, the design that they want, they're gonna tell you the entire story. I didn't have a traditional upbringing, so I didn't have a lot of the free time as a kid to become an artist or to work on art. Now my stuff's been in the gallery shows and I've done live painting demos at Comic-Cons and it really does help tattooing. That's really the reason I do it is just to get better at this. I think I have 56 mounts. 
I like to collect old junk, so I wanted more of a, a parlor, I guess, feel to the studio. This is a gar that came from Lake Champlain. That's a Sitka deer skull. That Angora sheep, that thing reeks. And I've read that the best taxidermy actually smells like the animal when it's alive. They call this either a blonde or a red raccoon. That beaver is very rare because it has the original teeth and its mouth is open. I want people to remember me for Did life. Did they call you the tattoo lady? I had someone yell out <laughs> on Main Street here in Barrie one day, it's the tattoo goddess. Lydia, oh Lydia, that encyclopedia. Oh Lydia, the queen of them all. So Lila even left her mark on me. Well, maybe a temporary one. We'll get stuck with you again real soon. <laughs> this is so dorky. I want to paint one of the governors and have it in the state house. That's it's like awesome. one of my secret, like, nerdy. Well, because I was up there a few summers ago, <laughs> and they have all the beautiful oil paintings of the all the governors. And a woman just did, I think it was Douglas, I want to say. And it was like a big deal because it was a female. I think you need to give my tattoo after you paint it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful, and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting. Hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight. We'd love to see you.